You know, and it's like, I want to protect you guys. That's why I include the price point in my scoring system. Some people calling me out. The reason I do it, I want to be a... Welcome to the basement, the basement. Here we go on Cloud Boom Echo. It took me a long time to remember. I, I kept calling it the Cloud Bloom Echo. It's a Boom Echo from On. We've got a 50 mile full review for On in the basement. It's um, it's exciting. Okay, I think this is my first On shoe from Switzerland that I was able to get to 50 miles. Okay, so let's dive in. The Marathon Racing Carbon Fiber Board Plated Shoe from On. All right, so it's a racing shoe, and there you can see that very unique midsole, outsole. Let's dive into it. Unbelievable. Wow, interesting. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. There is the mileage on your screen. I think we're over 50, maybe close to 60 miles in the on cloud boom echo a neutral road racing shoe let's do the twist test it's actually it's not twisting as much as yeah it's not twisting much which is interesting okay i'm a little surprised i'm putting some pretty good force into it right there all right so not getting the loosey-goosey treatment today in the basement looking at an eight millimeter drop from heel to toe 35 in the heel 27 in the forefoot all right for a high stack height not a maximalist stack height which it's very interesting their configuration of the midsole how i would even put it into the maximalist category it's like if they would ever create a maximalist shoe i don't know but anyway it is falling into the high category women's size eight men size nine and let's confirm in my size we've got a scale here in the basement 7.2 ounces coming in at 6.75 out of 10. okay so for a a marathon racing shoe, not the best. All right, compared to, should I throw them up there on the screen perhaps? I think we're looking at six, just over six in the Asics Metaspeed Sky. I think 6.1, 6.2 in the Nike Next Percent 2. These are all in my size. And then even if you want to look at, ooh, what was the, what was another one? There's another one just above the Next Percent 2. Which one was it? I'm not going to remember right now. But anyway, not an amazing weight for a marathon racing shoe. Looking at an engineered mesh. Okay, solid breathability and uh, build quality. I actually like what they're doing with the the thickness of the mid of the uh, upper. Um, yeah, I don't. Okay, I'm um I'm intrigued on. I actually, it might be the highlight of the shoe. I'm trying to remember what my positive was, but I like the feel of the material they're using in this upper. I really am comfortable, okay? So overall, uh, lockdown score is pretty solid considering how thin the tongue is. And I did not feel the laces cutting into the top of my foot as much as I thought I would. Thin laces, everything is, I would say, um, refined and engineered. Uh, that Swiss engineering well with respect to this upper configuration, all right? So the highlight of the upper definitely is the lockdown and heel counter, not too shabby, but it's a, it's flexing a little more than I might like, which is why the overall score for the upper is dropping down to that, that more average score range. There is a little padding there though. If you like a, a nice heel lock, okay? You don't want your heel slipping at all. I'm remembering now with the RC Elite 2 from New Balance, there is no padding there on the inside of the heel counter. This guy, the OnCloud Boom Echo, does have some padding there in the inside of the heel counter. Moving on to that Helion midsole material. It's got dual layers of cloud technology and Helion Super Foam sandwiching the carbon fiber, what they call their speed board. Kind of like it, changing it up a little bit, not car calling it a carbon fiber plate. And it is like, it's, um, man, I mean, I don't know what they're going for as far as, but it's like flexing. It's not rigid at all, which, okay. I'll say the Metaspeed Sky, I enjoyed the ride. I thought it was snappy, but maybe it was too rigid. Maybe it was too stiff. 
from ASICs. And I wouldn't be surprised if ASICs evolves a little bit in 2022 for that flex scale uh, through their carbon fiber plate. This speed board, like, it's definitely, it's given, all right? This way, not so much. This way, I mean, I, if I wanted, I could just bend that in half. So that speed board is not um, as, as solid, I will say, as the carbon fiber plates. Ride and energy return, 7.75 out of 10, and overall score, 7.5 out of 10. I think, and this is where that midsole, that Helion midsole, at dual, you know, it's the carbon board is sandwiched in between there. I think the durability is awesome. I mean, I just, it may be too awesome, okay? Maybe they need to let it breathe a little bit for that durometer score. Um, it's not bad though, okay? And you know what? The one word through my foot strike as I was testing this midsole was smooth. I just kept thinking over and over as I was going down the road to just feel smooth underfoot. Okay, but maybe that durometer could just lighten up a little bit, let it breathe a little bit in 2023, moving on to that outsole. So first of all, the rubber on the outsole, awesome. Not too much, okay, but it's a road shoe, but I still managed to snag a rock, okay? And I live in Denver, big city. I still snagged a rock somewhere along the way. Thankfully, it didn't bother my gait cycle while I was out there testing, but just keep it in mind, um, I foresee a lot of people who run in on shoes usually have to pull a hitchhiker out at the end of their runs. It's not a deal breaker for me, but just keep it in mind, it, it can happen in some of these carbon fiber plate shoes that have windows, like the RC Elite 2 from New Balance, um, I believe Hoka's and the, maybe the Carbon Rocket, Carbon X, I think it's the Carbon X, um, has it, and it's like, eh, mm, I don't know if it's uh, completely necessary to see that uh, mid, that carbon plate through the outsole fit, true to size, okay, standard score, um, not too narrow, not, yeah, standard score, even through the midfoot, nothing, yeah, I'm gonna say on, great job on the, on the fit of the Cloud Boom Echo, okay, comfort score, 7 out of 10, again, mostly being dropped a little bit because of the durometer. I think they could just lighten it up a little bit, let it breathe a little bit more moving forward. Positives and drawbacks. My positive is actually, it's crazy, it's, it's the tongue. The tongue is laying on top of the foot so well. And it's thin, so they just, mm, right material, right size of tongue. It's, I don't think they need to change it at all. It's not gusseted at all, not a semi-gusset, but man, it's, you know, so maybe that's not the best sign if it's the tongue that's the highlight of the shoe for me, but it is my positive. Drawback is the fact that despite so much technology going into the shoe, so much uniqueness, it's still on the, on the heavier side, you know? How can we, you know, there's holes through the midsole, you would think, and that outs, like you would think that that would drop the weight if there's less material inside that midsole but sure enough it's fallen you know above seven ounces in my size that is not a good sign durability prediction 400 miles there's my score it's gonna go further than some other shoes that i've tested you know i'm gonna say next percent to probably metaspeed sky probably on par gosh mm. RC, i'm trying to think now nah, rc elite 2 probably will break down a little quicker than this guy so anyway there you go for the durability prediction how will i use this shoe tempo training for me not even a threshold day and not a racer just a little on the heavier side okay tempo day training for me on cloud boom echo all right moving on to the price point whoa i'm not afraid to throw down every now and then a three out of ten two hundred and seventy dollars what are we doing on it's like i don't know it's just too much it's just way too much way too much i mean this is a two hundred dollar shoe maybe two and one ninety Okay, it's not a, it's just not at the top of the class in the marathon racing shoe department. Three out of 10, not a great score. Other shoes to buy on your screen. Soak it in the other carbon fiber plate marathon racing shoes thus far of 2021 on cloud. Boom, echo, quick specs on your screen. Eight millimeter drop, which I like. All right, there's my size for the weight. All right, engineered mesh Helion midsole with that uh, speed board sandwiched in between, and then that performance rubber compound on the outsole. Full review score, Woo, it's a squeaker, 7.05 out of 10. Barely squeaking into the seven, so I don't know. 
it, you know, well, the price point really hurt it, you know, and it's like, I want to protect you guys. That's why I include the price point in my scoring system. Some people calling me out. The reason I do it, I want to be a, I want to be a barrier. I want to be a gateway for all these companies to go through me. So they got us. I got to. I oh no, I'm challenging you on in 2022. Let's put this at like 210, 215, 220. Huh? Let's let's drive it down a little bit for everybody, okay? And then that that overall score will go up. Okay, here we go. Comment of the day, question of the day. I believe this is being pulled uh, from the Marathon Matrix vlog, I think from last year, okay? Shout out to Cameron. Cameron, thanks for being a member of the channel. Here we go. Cameron says, I imagine SJD gets just as excited about weight when he's in the produce aisle of the store. You know what, with, and then he puts in quotes, you know what, we got some honey crisp apples right here. Oh my, how much? Do these weigh? Cameron, you couldn't be more correct, man. It's like I, as soon as I get scales in front of me, I just start geeking out. So Cameron, you get the comment of the day. Thanks for taking the time. Probably, what was it, nine months ago when I made that vlog. So that was a throwback comment of the day. Question of the day. Here we go. What do you consider to be your best find? Meaning, a restaurant a travel spot, a camping spot. Don't tell, don't tell, don't give too many uh, specific directions for your secret camping spot. Um, your favorite, you know, I'll just say running shoe, your favorite, I, whatever, could, what's your best find? Oh, sorry, maybe it's not your favorite, but your best find, like something you have found that it's like, oh, I found this and it's my best find. It could be a treasure hunt, whatever you want it to be. Comment down below. Thanks for tuning in. If I'm uh, just, I'm just finding my groove down here in the basement. If it feels a little not as fluid out, it's like I like to stand up when I'm talking. So we're just making do with what we have for the time being. All right, everyone, onward and upward. Thanks for tuning in. We'll toss it to the Marathon um, Racing Shoe Matrix vlog from 2021. No, 2020. 2020. Marathon Racing Shoe Matrix vlog right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.